in terms of running effective and efficient meetings, I believe there are three types of meetings. Meeting one is all verbal. These are the 99% of meetings are like this, and they're usually really inefficient, and everyone sort of gets frustrated. And the only people that get to speak are the people who are bolder, and the people who are quieter and more introverted don't even speak. And so we think they don't have anything to say, but it turns out they have a lot to share. And they also don't feel bought in because they don't feel included in the conversations. Second type of meeting, people pre-write. This is where Amazon goes. This is saying, if you want to bring something up in this meeting, you've got to write it out. And in the beginning of the meeting, we'll all read it. And then we'll give our opinions and we'll make a decision. Those are much more effective meetings because now we have real content that can be shared and consumed. And so the conversation is not superficial. The conversation to run to a decision is on a much deeper level. And then the most effective meetings is the type three, which is very difficult to get to. And that is people submit in advance their issues, topics in writing, but 24 hours in advance. Then in that last 24 hours, all the meeting participants read and comment on all of that material so that when the meeting starts, we've now gone one level, two levels down, and the verbal portion is at the third and much deeper level. I now already know what everybody thinks, including the people that are introverted and don't like to speak up during a meeting because they don't think it, you know, they're just not that bold. Now I know everybody's thoughts and now everybody is actually bought in to whatever the decision is because they participated in it. That's level three. The company that does this best is Brex that I know of. And it requires a lot of holding people accountable. And if someone does not enter their issue by, you know, 24 hours before the exec team meeting, they don't get to enter it. And if people have not commented on the issue by the time the meeting starts, they don't get to comment. It's, it's an extreme version of accountability that drives one time people will miss, but once they miss one time, they are absolutely prepared the next time. And so that to me is the quick and dirty version. Yeah. I love quick and dirty. What, what percentage I'm just curious of meetings get canceled once a document is created and people add all of their comments. I know maybe like a precise percentage is not needed, but do they still tend to proceed with the meeting and verbal portion of that? Or are there a lot of cases where, you know what, we didn't actually need a meeting. This is resolved what we needed to resolve. There's always a little bit of synchronous time that's required because again, the writing doesn't fully satisfy the communication. And so at least Pedro, I don't think Pedro at Brex is, is canceling exec team meetings because the issues and the comments are so thorough. He's like, got, got it, got everything I need. Like, I don't need to see you guys anymore. That, that's not happening. It's let's do the final. I've heard senior comments. Now I'd like to hear verbally, you know, you and you and you, please share your verbally. Okay, now I get it. Now I have my decision. Here's my decision. Let me share it with you. Or I'm going to appoint someone else to be the decision maker. But yeah, the synchronous portion is needed to sort of finalize the decision to really make people feel heard. And then there's another portion which cannot be done asynchronously. And that is feedback. Because it's so dangerous to give feedback asynchronously. Because if I give you what I think is constructive feedback and you get insulted or feel defensive, Right. And I don't see that or I don't hear that. Then I yeah. can't say, Oh, Tim, wait a second. I didn't, I didn't mean, I meant that with love. I didn't mean to, to make you feel anger. So if I'm not there to catch it, you'll feel anger towards me. And it doesn't get resolved. Exactly. Yeah. And within a few days, because of confirmation bias, you'll have already amassed enough evidence to prove that I'm the devil, that our relationship will be destroyed forever. And yeah. so feedback must be done, I believe in person. And I also think that's a critical component of successful meetings. Give me feedback as manager. Let me give, give each other feedback as peers. I mean, that doesn't, it doesn't even exist in most companies. Rarely do people give feedback to the CEO, but almost never do people give feedback to each other at the exec team level. Yeah, very true. So I introduce that certainly Brex does and almost all the companies I coach do.